Hey guys, thanks for checking back in. I uh, made it back home last night, late, left around three, left the show, loaded up, got out of there, it was super hot, and um, waited for the judging to be over. Uh, definitely didn't win anything. I uh, had some missing interior pieces, so the guy was kind of like, you know, bring it back next year. Uh, it's all good, honestly. Uh, I was in that class on accident, and I'm kind of, Mad at myself for not moving it day one over to all the other third gens. Uh, probably just would have been a better fit, you know, hung out with all those guys a little bit more. Um, but it is what it is. Still a great turnout. Met some amazing people, guys I've been talking to for three, four, five years online. Uh, finally caught up. Guys like Phil Cornell, Stan Kennedy, uh, Mark Bruschi um guys from the new york third gen uh glenn some of those other guys uh just great great people um definitely it was a good turnout glad i went it was kind of like up in the air whether i was going to go or not uh being just so busy right now but made it a point to get there and i'm happy i did um a lot of people love the car had a uh, good conversations with uh bruce from hawks he was pretty impressed about the work that was done to the car considering i did it myself which was a, a good feeling considering that's the guy who you know builds some unbelievable cars uh some were actually even at the show that he built uh, so that was cool he also gave me um this well so this this is a celebrity choice award so this guy john who is a he's from luo speed photography he gave me uh, this award yesterday morning. And then Bruce also came by later on and was going to give me the award and then realized that I guess you can only receive one celebrity award. So he ended up, uh, you know, basically said, you won twice, but I can't give you the second one. So he ended up, uh, I guess, giving his award to somebody else. But I mean, it was just cool that you know uh that he actually would choose you know choose me um to give that award to so I, I left early i didn't grab it i gotta go online and basically just set it up to have it shipped uh i didn't want i couldn't even receive the award till like six o'clock last night uh but i was i was shot so i'm like let me just load up get out of here head home uh all in all unbelievable show uh any of you third gen guys i mean it was just heaven to be there, see all the cars, uh, you know, just how people just loved those cars. And I mean, the third gens are back. You know, it's just can't say enough about that. People are loving them, people want them. I can't even tell you how many people, you know, came up to me and were like, I wish I never sold mine. I, I want to get another one, but they're so expensive now. And, you know, you know, to, to an extent, you know, if you really want a super clean car, you got to pay now. Uh, and it just is what it is, but it's just kind of with a lot of different model cars. Um, that's what's happening. Um, but I mean, I'd love to see another show like that. I don't know if there's going to be anytime soon. Cause that was like the 40th anniversary of the third gen at Carlisle. Um, but I know there's some shows like kind of in the Midwest that are doing like strictly third gen or F body shows. So I'd like to maybe try to get there. Definitely 99% sure doing LS Fest this year. Got some real good feedback uh, about that show. Uh, I'd like to get the car there. I'd love to get the other car there too if I could get it, you know, somewhat functional by then. I Probably not, but uh, I think it would just be cool to get them both there. Uh, so working on that, going to set that up. Um, also got these shirts uh, for sale. If anybody wants them uh basically the website's irock-x.com and I'll, I'll put a link in the description below this is the front left chest of this this is the back a fellow third gen guy actually made these designs came out really nice getting them done on white shirts as well so i think the design will pop a little bit better on white uh, and then these uh which i got a lot of good feedback at the show on some guys are a little bit hating on it because it's a 305, but uh, you know these are also on the website. Uh, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna put a link in there, uh, but these are cool and also has uh, that design on the front left chest. 
Uh, but it's pretty cool. Came up with that. And I think uh, a lot of us LS guys uh, can understand the saying here. You know, if you want power, you just you got to go with the uh, LS. But um, all in all, great show. I'm going to put some clips after this. And yesterday was kind of a weird day. It was super busy. Like at the car, I didn't really have time to walk around too much. Uh, I was also waiting on the judging, which is a little annoying. Uh, but it was still good. A lot of people came by. You know, guys saw the car that were kind of looking for it. And uh, so I got some some pictures and videos of uh, like the DSE cars rolling around. They went to do a, a test in the uh, autocross section. They came right by me. So I got some video of that and um, and just some kind of, we, we took a little cruise uh, after when we were heading to the trailer, we went through like the third gen section and, and uh, a little bit of uh, in that area. So check out that footage. Uh, stay tuned. Got more stuff coming. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys are doing good. Enjoy the weekend. Okay. Stay tuned. Dude, how are you? Good, bad. How you doing? Good, man. Great to meet you. You too. Yeah, I was like walking back. I'm like, let me just get a quick. Minute.
find your number, I'll uh, I'll be in touch. <laughs> Do a roll through and then have me trailer. You too. Look, his friend has one. Check, check, check on Monday if you can. I, wanna, I will. I'm gonna. I got another guy who wants to dominate, so I'm gonna reach out right away. Nice to meet you guys, man. Be good. We should have gotten those. I know. It was so fun. Thank you.